Kip's having a go at the potential character in Cell Pro that's out there, like, fair play to him, I don't blame him. Have a go at him, like, but... We've got multiple accounts, right? Flow Destroyer and Sparkle have had these cunts in hangouts for we don't know how long. What, what you got to remember is, when you're talking about, all right, it could be a sock puppet account, and then what they do is they pay someone a wage, you see, and they run that sock puppet, sock, the sock puppet account. Um, and there's an hierarchy. And I think it's plain to see that the, the two main people in this are Flo Destroyer and Sparkle. Flo being, obviously, the one at the top of it. Unless that other cunt's at the top of it, that I'm Ian Puddick channel. There are... I know you can't see them as an op, okay, and that's fair play, but you've got to remember what the reason that they do is, like, people in government... Um, they put people out and they said, we don't want to know. You know, they want, like... Deniable... Um, I think it was Reagan. When they put some of the people out, like... Everyone in government, but we don't want to know. <laughs> you see? So, if that's the case, your politicians are no good. Your police are no good, because they probably are two police people. Um, or on the other hand of that, at some level, there'll be some connection to something, even though they're all little dicks, what, we, what we've dealt with. Uh, it doesn't mean they're all completely unconnected little dicks. So I would say flow and sparkle. They'll lose the job, but that's about it. It's just the way that everyone's fucking hiding from the camera. You get what I mean? It's weird. Out of 20 accounts, you think some cunt have put the face on. I know Grobnob has, but we know that Grobnob's just a fucking weirdo, as I said to him. Well, a few of them had a flick on my channel, like, to no avail, obviously. I said to Flo, we'll have a chat. He's obviously not really interested in doing that. Um, I hope that Kip's right. I, I You know... The reason that I believe we shouldn't have to put up with Lady Sparkle and Flo Rider is because they won't show us who they are. They're hiding in the shadows with a load of accounts around them that are also all hiding in the shadows. But um, So I don't really want to hear, or hear them. You won't see them, will you? So if I'm never going to see them, I don't want to hear them. Plus I don't know what they're doing out here. I don't know what they're trying to achieve. I'm, maybe I should, I'm guilty of not watching enough that, like, but I watched loads of Sparkle. Never really get me around what the fuck that come on about. Um, I've had fun with them, me, obviously, as you, you, you that's watching will know. I wouldn't imagine much will come of it, to be quite honest. <laughs> I don't think you'll need a, a Magnum private investigator because you've got decent proof that they broke the law. Then the police will access that internet connection for you. So... I mean, I don't even know where the legalities lie about even anyone getting an internet connection address. It's all a bit tight, that, isn't it? Just... I don't want to say that. <laughs> well, in my eyes, Flo and Sparkle are the lowest of the fucking low on earth. 
and I mean that in all sincerity. So you might feel like I'm being out of order there, but you've watched that crazy bitch fuck around with people's heads on here and you sat back and fucking, you still got her shit on your nose. So, I like to think she shits her pants when I said in a video, but I doubt it. But when I said like, you know, you could get fucking in a lot of trouble for what you've done to Pai's eye got. And, and yet, you know, she went in and out of attacking Brian and he seemed to like, so, oh, fair enough, then, you know. Brian Harvey comes onto the scene and you've got all these little cunts around him. Some have been, um, I've been in pop groups and stuff and, and you've got all that puddick shit around him and then he splashed onto the scene and Lady Sparkle splashed down with him, Flo Rida in the background and these other channels. And they fuck around, and it is interference bringing Pies I got in and bringing that Colombian fucking peasant in. That's no disrespect to peasants. We don't know what the fucking hell's going on there, but like, it definitely doesn't add up, it's definitely not right, so I've been putting it down. But good luck to you, bro. Hey, I, you know what I mean? Put our differences aside, they're not major ones. Really. You're going to try and make a living out of YouTube. And telling people nothing fucking paranoid is going on, like, that's fine, but you just got to remember that there's a lot of paranoid shit going on. There's been a lot of false flags in the past. They're doing them now. They put people on the ground so that they can have, like, deniable responsibility and they get the fucking chills to, like, tick tock into people's brains. You don't, you can't deny that and to say that's not happening is stupid and it's bad advice to give to the people. Yeah. Uh, should you be over paranoid? Well, not really, no, but you can see it for what it is. There's a good old video there, and it's called. I think you'll find it. It's more like counterintelligence. What was it? Counterintelligence. There's a few of them. Um. Counter Intel Pro, something like that, I think you'll find it. It was years ago, but I know it's up there because I've seen it not long back. That is a good few videos to watch to get your head around what these people probably are. Right? Maybe they're not, maybe the chances. But why would chances go to this level of bending the law at least? Why would they do that? It's something driving. There's a connection between Flo and Sparkle. There's something driving them. Why are they so going for the anonymity? The anonymity. The anonymity. What? What is, is something here? Right. Something going on. Sparkle's got a few channels with different voices. She's got one where she puts an old woman on and that. And they must be spending a fucking long time doing all this. I'd imagine a few of them snide channels that put fucking content up. Or, um flow, even though he says he's only got one channel. I don't think, like, you could lie straight in bed, mate. Do you know what I mean? Sorry about that. I don't believe you can. And uh, and I will back Kip up on this, because he said something, and I thought, yeah, fair enough. Do it. Because like, I don't like bringing in the system when I'm a channel trying to fight the system. I don't like to use them. But when they're putting... On boards, Kip's a paedophile, where paedophile hunters are there, like, they just want to go and kick some cunt's head in. Uh, that is sneaky, wrong and out of order, so... I hope if I hope you get fucked up. I hope you're not fucking intelligence, and I hope you get fucked up. Or, I hope you are intelligence, and you lose your jobs, or get demoted, or fucked off this fucking... format and uh, whichever one comes first it doesn't matter because you shit you're doing weird things you see maybe you have to come out and do a video for one so well I'm not, I never really agree with the things that Sparkle had done and if you look at my content you can see it's honourable maybe you could do that and say that but you'd have to say that first wouldn't you you're not going to do that because you're connected you might be, she might be a missus, who knows, who cares. 
Bon, bon.